Off-season traffic on I-70 remains higher than ever as summer turns to fall. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, sheriff's deputies were back on campus at Summit Middle School today after students saw and reported a threatening social media post last Friday. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons today confirmed it has been difficult to track the source of the post. It was sent through a systems manager app and not a common platform like Facebook, and that's why the FBI joined the investigation. We always notify uh, our federal partner, especially if it has to do with social media, because we never know where that post might be coming from in the country. Authorities can cannot comment on what the post said, but FBI agents are now assigned to any report of potential mass violence across the U.S. The federal authorities' interest in any school violence now and their directives to work with local law enforcement. Fitzsimon says there is no threat to students or faculty. Deputies will remain on campus through the investigation. I-70 traffic was up slightly this weekend for the start of fall foliage season. Nearly 141,500 vehicles passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday. That's 4,000 more cars than last weekend for a daily average of 47,000 vehicles, 10,000 more than the daily average last September, and at least 3,000 higher than any month last year, including July and March. The resort lodging industry took a slight hit this summer, putting an end to seven years of unprecedented growth. Analytics firm Destametrics shows August occupancy was down this year compared to last year for five of six summer months with no or negative growth. Experts say this trend arrived last winter, led by the economy and unchecked rate growth, meaning hotels are charging more than ever while visitors are less likely to have expendable cash. This trend could continue through the off-season. September and October bookings are down about 11% percent. Bookings through January are also down about one point. Local fire danger is high today with stage one restrictions. Fires are banned in the backcountry. Backyard fires and those in established fire rings are just fine. In sports, all Colorado teams have the day off until tomorrow when the Rockies open a series with the Giants. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the Summit High Boys Cross Country team won their second race in the past two weeks last Friday at the Dave Sanders Invite, led by Max Bonneberger in fourth overall and teammate Jeremiah Vale in sixth. The girls team took 11th, led by Grace Staberg in second place. On Saturday, boys soccer beat Palisade 5-4, getting their first win of the season. Summit Girls Rugby won the Valkyrie Sevens tourney in Glenwood Springs, beating Fort Collins in the final. And yesterday, the Tigers mountain bike team competed at Granby Ranch. We'll have official results for you tomorrow. All Summit High teams are off until tomorrow when Lady Tigers Volleyball plays West Grand away. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.